this would have could have been another like story like completely i don't want to be emotional it's giving bus bitch i feel cute okay Just look at me, I'm a ghost with nothing left Hollow, emptied out But got lost, can't be found You stole every bit of me Now I can't remember hi guys i hope you're doing well today today is actually sunday and it's easter day happy easter and it's 8 p.m right now i'm actually about to leave to go to my family home to celebrate easter and i'm late but what else is new anyways i want to show you my outfits i just finished getting dressed i have this very cute zara dress i have a really long fringe all the way down here and it's just really cute I'm going to wear it with like this white strap sandals. This is a bit annoying because it keeps going up. Oh, yeah. I still need to like straighten my hair because it's not, it's like, it's not fully straight yet. So, see the straighten that and then I'm good to go. I'm waiting for my sister as well to come to my apartment because 
are going together so i'm not going to use the opportunity to wait and maybe take pictures pictures i'm not going to post <laughs> but yeah Mommy, hi. <laughs> Do you know that we're already shopping? And I forgot about vlogging, so we're done shopping. We're actually on our way back home, and we got. I actually just went to return stuff and shop for mommy, but see, but all this stuff. Shop for me. Shop for me. It's mostly for only you. I shop for myself. Like, but you shop more for me than yeah. yourself. Today is mommy's day. Yes, my day. Yo guys, we're bored so we to take advantage of the day. Yeah, and we have lots of goodies here. And mommy has lots of goodies. And... I bought this, really bought me this gown, a beautiful gown. I can't wait to rock it in Nigeria. In fact, I, yeah, have, I, I, have, nice. I, have, I have a party for you already. Once I go home, I'm going to show to the party. For the party. <laughs> anyway, we're going to Sephora right now. We're not shopping, we're just window shopping. We're yeah, looking shopping. around. We're going to look around. So yeah, no buying anything. No buying. We are just spent look a lot. And just get out of here. Get out of there. Most nice I don't leave, baby. You don't even know you don't even know what I give you for. You know I just got to change. You know I just got to change. Hi, yo. Today is Tuesday, April second, and today is the day we go see Nicki Minaj, and I'm so relaxed for no reason. Like it's actually almost it's actually almost three p.m. today, and Nicki's concert is at eight p.m. I just got tickets. I don't have any outfits to wear. I'm not organized at all. I have to change my hair. I, I'm looking for. I need to wear a pink. I need to wear a pink outfit to like. I feel like it's a crime to go to Nicki Minaj's concert. I don't have a pink outfit. I actually don't have a pink outfit in my clothes that I want to wear to the concert. So I'm going to the mall with my sister to see if we can find anything to wear for the concert. I have less than five hours. I have to do my hair today. Take this off and do like. I want to just like give that Nicki Minaj like vibe. You know like long blonde hair or i actually don't know the hair i'm doing yet but i have options and then i have to get outfits come back get dressed do my makeup in this short period of time so yeah i'm actually supposed to have left now but i'm with my sister to get ready and you know so we can go together so while i wait i'm going to make myself a just a smoothie just like while away time but we don't even have time to wipe away, so whatever. nice and contained and then on the go i like to take this kind bars they are so delicious i prefer the peanut butter one to the chocolate chip one let me show you this is the like chocolate chip type and then this is the peanut butter type very filling i like it a lot and it's just delicious and i like to have it in my smoothie i'm good to go for the day mm. That's delicious. I'm good to go, guys. Let's start our day. Hopefully, we'll make this Nicki Minaj concert because the way I'm seeing it, 
I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how the day is going to go. Honestly, this is my nails. Do you get it? You know, pink. The pink, pink is the theme for this week. Okay, the queen is coming. Who are we not wearing pink? You know, so I have to come correct. All right, yo. Let me stop rambling before I'm actually late for today. But yeah. Do that one. The next one is this one. I think I'm going to use this one. <laughs> this one is like a more safer option and it's like still giving Nicki Minaj, you know. Guys, <laughs> I will not be late for my wedding in Jesus' name. Stay in with me. See time. 837. 837. I haven't gotten ready. The concert has started. Mm hmm It has started. If I miss this concert, I'm going to be very mad at myself mad at myself because I paid 500 dollars for nothing. So get ready with me. <laughs> Why I dress up like a mad woman. So you don't even understand the kind of jetly I'm about to do right now. On my face like you have no idea <laughs> oh fuck I'm literally this is never wet I'm literally on borrowed time why am I like this someone please tell me I can't even shave my legs <laughs> Shut and I'll wear something short, but do you know what? At this point, we don't care, do we? I'm just trying to survive. I'm just trying to make it to the concert at this point. I literally have to do my makeup in 30 minutes. Like, like I had this whole look planned, you know? I had this whole like makeup look, Barbie makeup look, but nope. Nope. I just have to get out of this house, so... Alexa, let me know when it's 9 p.m. Alarm set for 9 p.m. Would you like to fall asleep to soothing thunderstorm sounds? No. I'm not even going to take my time today. Like, however this makeup comes out, glory be to God, you know? Like, for real. I just really hope, like, I still look good, you know? I've never rushed this much in my life. And I have good seats, like, I have really good seats. But you know, like, it's usually these, like, rushy makeups that usually comes off <laughs> the best. I have to wear my contacts because. My eye size has to be like, <laughs> it has to be on point today. This is the first time I'm seeing Nikki. Oh my gosh, like, I don't even know how I feel right now. I feel more excited and like, anxious. I bought this like, cute 
outfits from Zara, but I, I'm so, I'm kind of scared that it's going to be cold. Because this, this cart I got is like really, really like short. Yeah. I just hope I don't get like too cold. Going in with the second concealer. You know, I'm doing like one million things at once. I really thought I, we're not going to make it anymore, like genuinely. But I'm like, how, how can I miss this concert? I'm not going to be happy with myself if I don't. So. Ooh, let me try my phone. Myself, this makeup 20 minutes. 20 ah, that has never happened before. Okay, I feel cute. Let me just pack my contacts, some lip gloss, some lip gloss, and then I'm going to get dressed. So I'm late already, but let me give you a mini Zara haul. So I got this cute skirt from Zara. It is court actually. This is how it looks like. I got this like really simple top. Now I got this cute shorts from Express. I'm not going to wear it today, but they were really cute. I got these cute earrings that I may wear right now actually. In fact, let me just wear it now because I'm not sure how this look is going to go. But I, I just liked it. And it's pink. Like the theme today is pink. Duh. What do you think? What do you think? Some pink heels. And lastly for a perfume, we're using, I'm using my two favorites, which is Donna Bonny Roma and the Paris de Mali. Oof, that smells good. And then, that smells good too. And for my bag, Alexander Wang. And that's the look, guys. Alright, I'm going to vlog on my iPhone. I don't want to steal my camera, but how do I look? Mine is giving boss bitch. It's giving boss bitch. I feel cute, okay?
Hi guys. So it's the afternoon the next day. I came back from home around 2 a.m. because the traffic was crazy after our concert and I had to like wait for um I basically had to wait for the for traffic to clear before I would actually be able to leave that um concert. Concert was good, like the concert was just great. Nikki like looked great. But I'm just I I don't even know how I feel right now because Nikki was great, the concert was good, but coming home and waking up to the kind of message I woke up to this morning is just scary and just I'm just kind of in shock. I woke up, I slept around 3 a.m. this morning because I had to like shower, I had to like do my night routine, and then I um I woke up to a call very early this morning from my little sister and I picked up, I was thinking it was like, it was like a random call, like maybe she went up for something. And then she called me and told me that my sister, Wendy, like my, the one you guys always see on my vlog, she had an accident. She had a really bad car accident and I'm just grateful to God because with the way this accident was, I'm just grateful that she's alive. Like, the her car is complete totaled. Her car tumbled and like swerved and hit like a pole. Like it was actually a major accident. And right now she's at the ER. I'm actually just coming back from the ER right now. It's afternoon. I had to like leave this very very early this morning and everybody is just in shock. And the whole thing is just it's just it's just crazy how life is so like weird, like so fragile. She was trying not to hit a car that was in front of her so she was trying to avoid you know hitting a car and she like swerved and like the car like tumbled and like hit something now like she has like pain in her spinal cord and her shoulder is like basically dislocated and she's still in the emergency room and the whole thing is just so scary i'm just happy i'm just grateful that she's alive like what if something happened to her like something major you know like what if like something really really bad happened like what would, are we going to have? like what would you have done life is just crazy like this type of thing like nobody ever thinks to happen to them until it really happens i literally just left um the er right now i'm going to go back later and see her um she's doing like some testing and some scans and the whole thing is just crazy We all, we've just all been praying like god thank because her car is so bad like it's literally gone that car is like it can't be fixed that how bad it is and she came out like spotless like she just has like pains on her spinal cord and her like shoulders and her waist and it's just like it's it's like injuries but not like major life threatening injuries and i'm just so grateful because this would have could have been another like story like completely you know I woke up in shock like I don't even know how to feel right now but everybody's just happy that she's alive like anything can be replaced but not life like life is so precious life is so fragile and sometimes we actually like underestimate how going and coming back home safely is and this just kind of just puts me in like a different like mindset to just just be grateful and just just to just you know like just be grateful for the things and don't take life too um too personal and don't take life too serious and don't take take every moment like it's your last moment and like it's your last memory because anything can really happen so yeah it's just crazy just a crazy morning like generally um but like i said everybody's just happy so now she's going to move from the er to my auntie's clinic my auntie is actually a doctor so we're going to see how that goes if she's actually able to be medically cleared to leave the ear before she goes to the next clinic so yeah i'm just back home now i'm going to take a little nap because right now there's nothing much we can do my mom is still at the hospital um they can't really like let like many people at once so we had to leave after a couple of hours but 
yeah my mom is a hospital now with, with her and my auntie as well and um they're going to give us like updates and see where we can go from there i'm just going to um go back to bed because i've not really slept i'm going to take it like a short nap i'm going to freshen up eat and then if they need my help and i'll also go and see her like much later so everybody just exhausted this morning this morning it's just crazy how like a night full of fun happened and then this morning was chaos do you get like it just it's just crazy like the shift is just crazy i'm just grateful for life i'm just i'm just happy that she's alive you know like it's just, i don't even care about the car like nobody cares about the car at this point like we're just happy that she's sound that's just it's just it's just insane you know so yeah i'm kind of i'm still like kind of um i'm still shook and i'm still tired so i'm just going to talk to you all later let me just maybe take a nap and just like feel like more more free so yeah i'll see you soon a few moments later yo i can't believe how long i slept for I slept for like four hours i was so damn tired but i've not had anything to eat today like actually i've not had anything to eat for the last at least 27 hours i'm super hungry it's actually the hunger that woke me up but my sister is good. She's okay. I called her. Um, I just need to pick up her medication from the pharmacy. But she's like, because they gave her so many painkillers. So now the painkillers are wearing enough and she's really feeling the pain, like the impact of the accident. <sighs> anyways, I'm just, she's okay anyways. So that's, that's good. But I'm about to make myself like a light, not light because I'm super hungry. I'm about to make myself um like dinner ish it's 5 30 right now and guys let me show you this thing i bought <laughs> you see this it's called a salad spinner and this is probably the best purchase i've ever made on amazon because it's like i never even knew this existed i just got suggested on amazon like to get salad spinner i'm like okay let me see what this does and life changing let me just tell you my salad game will never be the same again so i'm about to make some salad eggs and yeah avocado i'm going to have that with bread and maybe a smoothie i'm starving anytime i'm too late to do smoothie for myself i use i drink this one from i don't even know where it's from but it's so good i'm so hungry i can't even do anything until i put something in my stomach that's crazy You know you're old when you're excited about <laughs> home gadgets. And let me show you how this works. So you basically put your, your veggies in here. Just put basically all your veggies in here. And then you just wash it first. I like to use white vinegar to wash my veggies and fruits. I can't eat anything without using white vinegar. And then you just fill this up with water water is in i'll let this soak for like a couple minutes and close it but what this does is that you just fill this with water and like spin it make sure it like cleans properly and then you take off the water in here and spin it again dry your salad completely like it's amazing i'm going to show you a bowl right now I'll put this aside let me make my dinner Alright, so I already poured the water out. Like, you don't water in it anymore. But it's still wet. So, this is actually the spinner. So, I need to do like this. 
do it a couple more times and if you see here if you see here it's like drying the water out of the greens guys life changing <laughs> literally life changing See what came out just from spinning the salad and see it almost dry inside. I'm not going to do this one more time and then I'm going to have dry veggies to eat. How amazing is that? <laughs> I'll do this one more time and it's going to be completely dry. Anyways, I'm hungry. This is a uh, dinner slash lunch-ish. A little bit of bread. I was going to make smoothie, but I'm too lazy, so I'm just going to drink some kombucha. And that's it. Hey guys, proof of life. Wendy is here. I want to show you guys her. She's still alive. She's still good. I talked about her like um earlier, but I wanted to show you like how she's doing. She's still like very much in pain, and she's like her spinal cord. Her spinal cord is really hurting, right? And I can't move my shoulder. And she can't move her shoulder, like but. But thank God. I actually want to show you guys. It's just crazy. Look at her car. Her car is now like. Total. This is actually considered total now because to fix it is even way more expensive um, than actually getting a new car. So this is how the car. This is the car. You can't really see the other side, but it's the uh, sorry. You can't really see the other side, but the other side is like smashed inside, like it's really bad. But this is how it looks like so far. So it's it's now total. She can't actually drive this car anymore. It's in a new car. She's getting a new car. Um, when I get in a new car. Soon, well, when she gets a new car, when she looks for when she finds one, I haven't bought it. I'm not going to show my face because I look a mess. She looks a mess, but hello, can I move this hand? She can't move this hand, but she's fine, she's alive. That's what matters. And then I was just taking it one day at a time, I was taking it slowly, but she's she's doing she's doing good so far. Thank God for that. Say bye, I know, right? Hey y'all, I'm back home now. I'm hungry. I'm about to cook dinner, but before we cook dinner, let's open up some packages. So, so I was gifted these packages and I have some things I also want to show you that I bought for myself. Um, yeah, I'm very excited about these packages to be very honest with you because I've been waiting for them and I've been dying to show you guys. So let's open it up. The first packet I'm going to show you is this sneakers from Fitville. It's a sneaker brand and one thing I love about this sneaker brand is that they have sneakers for everybody. They have sneakers for white feet and I have white feet so I'm very very grateful for that. Um, they have sneakers for like you no know, normal feet and they have sneakers for you know small narrow feet. They have sneakers for different types of um, people and their sneakers are super comfy. I actually wore this already because I couldn't contain my excitement but i want to show you guys how it looks it's how it looks so cute it's a sneaker brand that caters for any type of sneakers running sneakers casual sneakers and they claim to actually be really really comfortable and healthy for your feet i love that because i have a lot of sneakers that I really love but they are really really tight to my feet because I have like white feet so I actually got this in white feet and I've been dying to have black sneakers for long the longest I'm really really excited to try this I'm going to actually start wearing it to the gym 
Um, I'll probably even wear it like as a casual fit, um, as a casual shoe as well. This is how it looks like. It is super nice. It's all black, and it says fit view behind here. It's just a classic black shoe. I don't have a classic black um sneakers like all black. I can already tell I love this because it's super comfy on my feet, and my feet can actually breathe very well inside without me feeling like that discomfort of like this tightness. So, yeah. Thank you, Fitview, for sending me this shoe. I love it. I'm upset. And then for our second package, which I'm very, very, very excited about. Ta-da! So this is actually a laser hair remover device, which is really funny because, yo, I actually booked to get laser next week because I want to start going um for anyway let me just show you let me just show you before i actually start talking the laser hair removal device from them rays i think i'm pronouncing it right this is so dense this is how it looks like yo this looks so legit i'm actually going to start laser hair removal next week with my sister because my sister has started laser hair remo removal and she had been telling me to try it out it is so much cheaper than waxing in the long run and i don't have to worry about like ingrown hairs and bumps and rashes and, and all that that comes with you know waxing and shaving i will actually genuinely going to start laser at the end of the day I'm, I'm saving money for myself and i don't have to go through the pain of waxing i don't have to go through the pain of bumps i don't have to go through the pain of rashes and ingrown hairs and all that and hyperpigmentation so i'm so happy i actually have this and i can actually laser myself from home i don't have to drive all the way and have like 10 different sessions to actually make sure that all the hairs are gone now i can actually do it myself so i'm super excited let's just open this bag for all because i've had this for like couple days now i didn't want to like open it up until like i open it on camera oh this is how it looks like inside Ooh, and it comes with instructions here on how to use it and your your product manual and whatever you need to um know it comes with shaving stick and this is the bad boy right here wow this looks so good yo look at this i actually cannot wait to try this i cannot wait to try it let me read the instructions and see how to use it so you're supposed to um prep your skin with this i think you have to shave off the um hairs there and then you turn this on to level the level you want i'm going to have to read this very well and you just start using it um it has different levels i'm going to have to read the entire manual if you want to know how it is you can pause and read I hope this is focused but yeah it's it's really really self-explanatory i'm just so excited to start this i don't have to go waxing every month again and let's see how this goes i'm actually going to document the whole journey and you know like this is actually supposed to, to be you're supposed to use it for four to eight eight weeks depending on your, your body type so i'm going to document how i use it and and actually show you the result if it's going to work but based on my research and based on what i've actually like seen online this really works wonder it also comes with a charger this charger is super heavy thank you them race for sending me this product i'm actually very excited to try it out i also have a discount code for you guys for these two products the field view shoe i have a discount code for you this is already very very affordable way more affordable than these big brands and you really get what you pay for and i also have an additional discount for you so you can actually get with in a bet with a better price it's still already because it's already cheap and you're already like using my discount code so you're going to get this for like way way cheaper than what you see out there and for this i also i'm also going to um put a discount code for you guys here i think i have one if i don't have one i'll ask them for one if you want to shop and you know try it out you can try it out now or you can wait for me to use it and then you see my result and yeah that's it for my unboxing and then for like things i got for myself i just went to like the store and just got like some skincare i'm out of moisturizer and like my snail mucin and everything so i got myself snail mucin this is the um the the regular one i didn't get the other like one i love to get because i didn't find it well i ordered it on amazon so it should be here soon and then i actually got like some new products i have not tried before i want to start trying like different products like different um skincare products that 
I already like see people using so I have this mirrored um eye cream I want to really I, I heard this mirrored is a really good brand so I really want to try their um products so I got this eye cream from mirrored focus please yes okay no then I got the moisturizer from L'Oreal it's supposed to be like super hydrating and I want to start using like more of drugstore products I want to see like I use a lot of high-end products, so I want to actually start seeing how drugstore products actually work because I've heard a lot of these drugstore products are actually like really really good, like as good as the high-end ones. So I got this L'Oreal moisturizer to try on my face and see how it is, and it was super affordable. What else? What else? I just got lashes. <laughs> That's it. That's it for my haul. I also went to the African store. I want to cook like tilapia fish and Chill of fries, it's gonna be so delicious. And don't slide it too, don't slide it through this screen. Oh, sorry, I cannot give you, but you can come here, I can give you a plate of rice that if you want. But yeah, 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 I'm see, I still have to edit this video tonight because I need to post the video this week whether devil likes it or not you all haven't seen me for the last three weeks and that's unacceptable for the last two weeks, this is the third week that's unacceptable I have to post this video this during that as I'm cooking now, I keep remembering how someone stole my Chanel brooch in Nicki Minaj concert I'm so pained why did I even wear a brooch to go to the sh to, to to go to a concert like who does that and then i put on my skirt where i won't be able to feel it i won't be able to see anybody stealing it like it was an in, it, like it was an easy steal i'm just so mad at myself but that concert was really good i'm actually very happy i went for that concert she was so beautiful <sighs> she she looked exactly the same like she looks like what she looks like on instagram like she was so close yet so far. I wanted to just grab her and like tuck her in my bag. <laughs> she was so cute. Well, anyways, I'm done my jollof rice. <gasps> and then my fish is still in the oven. Cooking up my st oven is disgusting, guys. Don't even look there. Like I haven't cleaned it in like weeks. It's quite disgusting. But yeah. You like my apron? 
It's my cute apron. I have like two pockets too. I don't wear the apron often. I should wear it often. I actually love using aprons to cook. It just saves me from spills and and nonsense. Hey yo, <laughs> Amanda's place right now, and she's been in new clinic. So oh we're going to see going? it. Wait, stop! I have no lashes on. Please, I don't want to be on YouTube. Not yet. Why? Because I don't have no lashes on. Oh, this one. Lashes? What? I don't. Oh, you can they're not me serious. Right show my hair. I don't understand what you're trying to do. What are you hiding? With lashes? Yes, right. Did you ever have lashes before? I've never seen your lashes before. Really? Huh. Oh, you want? Hey, y'all. So, I'm at my auntie's place right now. You look cute. You look cute. You look cute too. I like your glasses. Thank you. So, I'm going to see my auntie's new clinic. <laughs> I'm doing interior design for her, so I'm so excited. Wait, wait. wait. Uh huh. Okay. Videos, You've not seen your mom's cleaning before. No, I haven't seen it. You should be ashamed of yourself. Ah. She be ashamed of yourself. Ooh. The sun is sunning today. Anywho, my auntie bought a new clinic. Say congratulations to my auntie. I'm going to see the new clinic right now. I'm so excited. I'm doing interior design for her. So. <laughs> This is nice. It's so nice and big. Oh, <laughs> oh, see all the way down there. No, my house is toxic. Here, yeah, here. Nice. I'm there too. I know. Can't tell that it's a lot of work. One, um, I want to have four rooms. Exactly. Four rooms. I don't have three rooms. You know, Ojinka has three rooms. I don't have the three rooms. Yeah, for four and two rooms. So what would what would be the research? What would this place? They will come right. There will be a storage here. Yeah. Yeah, you start You understand? So this is they will come in. So this is a walkway. The whole of this. Place. See, see, walkway. Oh. Oh. So here is a small storage. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then we have rooms here. We have like three rooms on this side. They have toilets here. So it's a lot of work. We're talking about hundred thousand worth of work. I'm look, I'm thinking about two colors. One is a um I don't know uh, bluish grayish color. Bluish grayish. Okay, like nice and like actually a nice place for people to actually come and stay and be happy to wait. Okay, 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 okay. okay. It's cute. <laughs> so you see. Auntie, congrats. Thank you. We still have a lot of work here to do, but know, there's progress, kind of. It's so big and nice. Ooh. And I'm going to do my Winnie touch to it. Okay. Fit check, black, two piece in my Jokmus bag, Cartier, sunglasses. I think my shorts are fit. What, what are you wearing today? A clothes. <laughs> I love you all. She's my niece. I love her. I don't know. Peace, peace, peace. Love you. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to just be real here for a second and just really tell you like what's been going on. Well, kind of, <laughs> kind of tell you what's been going on, but I've really been just. I've been like out of it lately like 
I feel very disconnected from everything. I, I don't feel sad at all. I'm not unhappy. I just, I'm just so dis disconnected and so overwhelmed. And I think I'm burnt out because I'm so overwhelmed with so many things in my life. Like, I'm still trying to adjust with my life here. Like, even after all these years I've been here, I'm still trying to adjust with life abroad. I, I find myself sometimes going back to the past, like, reliving the past and what could have been. Because when I was in Nigeria, I had a business, a fully functioning business that was working for me. I left that there and I, I can't help but wonder, like, where my business could have been by now. If I was, you know, still in Nigeria, I left like my life there, and, and there was nothing, you know, there was nothing wrong with my life. I was doing very, very, extremely well in Nigeria. There was nothing wrong with my life. So coming here, I had to start everything from beginning. I had to like relearn everything, learn a new culture, a new way of life, like trying to get my feet at the door. And sometimes I still find myself struggling, struggling with it. And now I just feel numb, like. I don't want to do everything. Everything is such a struggle for me. Like me showing up here right now is taking a lot for me. But I genuinely love doing YouTube and I genuinely love speaking to I feel like people I'm like my friends. Like I genuinely love speaking to like connecting with you guys. Like it really, really helps me. Like you guys have no idea how much it actually like helps me. Like just mentally, like I don't want to be emotional. You guys have no idea how how like being here really mentally helps me like seeing my sister go through this stuff is just hard like a lot of things that i don't even i'm not even going to share online because they're like really like personal like i'm a really really private person i share a lot here but i still have a lot of things that i don't share in my life i'm very comfortable here but I'm, i don't know how comfortable i can get but just it just i'm just really overwhelmed right now like it's just so much in my head i'm trying to get back you know get back to business like i'm trying to start a business here i've always been a business minded person i've always been the business person I've, i had a business in nigeria my father is a businessman like i have family that we are all business people so like that's all i know i know business nine to five life is not for me it is not for me i'm i'm seriously struggling with that it's just been a couple of months. I'm I'm tired. Like I just want to quit. I want to just it's just like it's just not me, you know? Like a lot of things I live now is just not who I am. And I feel like because of that, it's making me lose myself. Just to be like like hundred percent transparent. I have a jewelry line that I started like last year and i haven't been able to bring it online because of like i have so many setbacks like i have people that have disappointed me like models and like photo shoes that i had to like push back and push back and push back and push back i've been pushing it back for so many months and it's just so like annoying i've not been able to show you know online the, my online presence um for my jewelry line and also like trying to just start a business here is just hard in general it's just it's just so different from Nigeria. Nigeria is so easy to just start a business, but here you have to get a lot of like licenses, certificates, like business LLC, and then like marketing is different. Like you have to learn everything. Like you're just going to school again, and and it's just like so overwhelming for me. And I'm a very very like strong person. I'm a very strong minded person. I'm a very um. I don't like i don't notice when i'm actually like overwhelmed until i've gone to like a breaking point i'm that kind of person i don't feel things until it has come to the point where where i can't control let me not use the word control but basically like, i can't ignore it anymore and like my head is so full sometimes like not even sometimes my head is always full like round the clock i sleep wake up anxious like i'm always thinking about my future i'm always thinking about the next thing to do i'm always on the go i'm literally always on the go and this youtube is honestly just a hobby for me because i don't even have time to do youtube i'm trying to do other things in my personal life i know i've not posted in like the last three weeks not because i don't want to trust me it's always on my mind but because like i'm like there's so much to do for me i don't have the strength to connect with anybody i don't have the strength to 
to go to work i don't have the strength to, to even eat even the one I, the ones i even eat i gain so much more weight because i'm so stressed out so yeah just i just want you to just be patient with me and just you being here for me even if you just want two three of you just coming to this point actually listening to what i'm saying right now you have no idea like how is like how genuinely it means to me it really means a lot to me a lot a lot and thank you for being here so yeah this is like my therapy session because i can't really say this out loud in real life to be honest at the end of the day we all want to be the best version of our the best version of ourselves i really want to live a life where i don't have to regret where i know that i tried you know like a life i know that i tried to to get to where i want to be in life so that's just where i am at right now i'm just overwhelmed but i know that i'm going to get through it <sighs> thank you for listening to my pep talk and this is honestly has helped me more than it has helped you and i want to just thank you for just giving me the listening ears <laughs> all right so thank you so much for watching my vlog and i will see you in the next vlog i'll see you in the next video and if you have anything you want me to film yo please please let me know in the comments i would be happy to tell me what you want to know from me any video any video ideas you want from me i'll be happy to and please follow me on instagram yo my instagram is dead now like i don't even want to even post on instagram anymore because i feel like i don't even understand the app anymore but just follow me on instagram connect with me just stick beside me okay thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you in my next vlog bye